Hey, how's it going everybody? In this short video, I briefly want to talk to you about requirements.txt files. Now, what exactly is a requirement.txt file? Let me briefly open one up. Yes, that's all that there is to it. I have a very simple requirement.txt file here, and all it has is the module pygame and its version. And you might have come across one of these txt files if you have perhaps downloaded a GitHub repository or tried to clone a project. Now, all that is in these requirement.txt files is the module and the version of the module. And we use these requirement.txt files to create the necessary environment to run the project. So let me briefly outline the three major advantages that we have when we, when we use these requirement.txt files. The first advantage is version control, because in the requirement.txt file, we specify the module version. And by doing that, we avoid any compatibility issues. The next advantage is speed, because installing uh, modules from a requirement.txt file is very fast, as we will see in just a moment. And the third advantage that I want to outline is the fact that using uh, requirement.txt files allows the project to be recreated by others. And when someone else recreates the project that you've been working on with your requirement.txt file, he will have the same dependencies, which is exactly uh, what we want. So let me go ahead and show you how you can install modules from a requirement.txt file. So as we saw a moment ago, we have the simple requirement.txt file that has the module pygame. So what we can do is in the terminal, we can go ahead and write pip install and then minus r and then requirements.txt. And when I go ahead and press enter, you can see that the module is installed. So it says installing collected packages, and then it says successfully installed. And if we go ahead and check this, so we can write pip list, you can see that the module pygame has now successfully been installed. All right, so now that we know how to install from a requirement.txt file, the question becomes, how do we create one of these requirement.txt files? After all, it would be a bit inconvenient to write out all the modules and all the version numbers. So let me go ahead and delete the requirements.txt file that I have. And then we're going to simply install another module. So let's go back to the terminal, clear it out, and then write pip install um, let's take Discord, the module Discord is an example. And it will take just a moment to install. And once that's done, we can go ahead and check that it is installed by writing pip list. And you can see that in the list of modules, we now have Discord. And from earlier on, we have the module Pygame. So now, how do we create this requirements.txt file? We can go back to the terminal, and then from the terminal, we can simply write pip freeze, and then a small larger, and uh, I mean greater than symbol, I'm sorry. And after that, we can write requirements.txt. And when we do that, a new file is going to be created in our file tree. And you can see it now contains all the individual modules that were installed, including the Discord and the Pygame module, including all the individual versions. And that is super convenient because this will allow anyone to install all the modules that you have used in your project. All right, so we're gonna leave it at that for this video. Um, if it helped you out, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you are new, and we will see each other in the next video.